Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to come on and do a quick video about uh, report types. We just had a, a meeting that we finished and I felt like I understood it moderately well and wanted to share it with you all. Um, if I get anything wrong, please feel free to correct me and teach me the right way. Um, so something about report types, I'll go over here to the uh, reports tab. If we make a new report here, you can see that there are a lot of different report types and that's the first step you, you take when you're making a report. Um, and you can see all these different ones here and a lot of them have things like accounts with contact roles or opportunities with partners. Um, the with just basically means uh, it returns all of the opportunities that have an associated uh, partner record with them. So it won't, it won't return all of the opportunities for your data, but just only those opportunity records that also have a partner record with them. Um, in, in SQL, this would be the same as an inner join, if I'm not mistaken. So it would pull in all the records that meet both requirements. Um, to further illustrate this, it's, you can see in the custom report types, it has some good graphics here inside the setup and the report types. Um, so if you come here to new custom report type, you can make your own report type. So let's just do campaigns and we'll name this one campaigns with leads with activities. Okay. That for now, and we'll put it in the campaigns category. Okay, so this is your first object, campaigns here, and then uh, we had campaigns and leads. That too, so let's do leads. And this, okay, this shows here what our relationship is like. So right now, it's returning the records that are campaigns that also have a. Uh, some leads associated with that, that campaign record. Um, so you can look right here, the A to B relationship is what's important. In the custom report type builder, you can actually change whether it has um, only the records with campaigns and leads, or if you want to do all campaigns and for any of the campaigns that have leads, show that information as well. So this one, as you can see in this picture right here, some campaigns do not have leads, but they would still show up. Whereas with this default option, only those records that have, uh, only those campaign records that have leads would show up here. And then you can also go even deeper on this and go campaigns with leads with activities. And this is the B to C relationship, so leads with activities. It would say, so right now we have only records that have campaigns that have leads. And then as far as the activities go, we would say only show those activities um, that are associated with leads or leads with activities. And then this one would be show all leads whether or not they have activities as well. Um, so this is just a good visual to, to see that. And then if we did save, this campaigns and leads with activities report type is in there and we can refresh. And if we go over to campaigns, you can see here, campaigns and leads with activities is created. 